So today I bought this 29 gallon tank. This is the 5.5 gallon tank, so it's a big upgrade. But I also have this breeding tank that's 10 gallons that my puppy is giving birth to about 15 fries now so far. And I think she gave birth to four baby fries today, this morning. It's July 14th, 2020. So uh, I'm just gonna make sure I set this up nice and, um, and neatly. And I'm just gonna move this guy to over here and this tank to over here. So they're gonna switch and that process is gonna be pretty difficult, I reckon, but I think I can do it. So, so far we have the water about, I think 60% out. So I can, because I have to move this tank over there right here so I emptied this tank out which was a quarantine tank before I emptied it out and transferred the water into there and a little bit into that uh, jug right there and so I'm gonna now move this tank and to over here for the better composition and try to get that organized as well and this tank right here it was too bright this tank the 29 gallon, uh, gallon tank will go right over here now we have about this much done uh, they're all like lined up from largest to smallest so this is what's done so far fill the water up in here and uh, this is now all stable and I just got to fill this tank with the, the sand that I bought it's in the car right now but I'll fill this up right now and this looks like this so far yes this is stable again and perfectly fixed Okay, so the filter just arrived, the sponge filters arrived, so I'm just uh, seeing what the best orientation for these guys are. I'm trying to find the best orientation, but oh, it's, not, it's not that easy. So I'm going to set these guys up first and uh, do the pipe work and uh, show you guys the next process of how it goes. I finished laying out all the sponge filters. It's probably going to look like this and the heater over there. A water bubbler, I attach that because um, sometimes I will have the water bubbler on and sometimes I won't. So I wanted to control that so I just uh, connected with that valve and uh, water for the water flow because this tank probably won't have any like mechanical filter, mechanical filter in, in, except for uh, these two. But you know the tank is so big so um, I need some water flow happening in this tank. But uh, I might actually put this filter in the tank and use this sponge filter down here. That sponge filter, the smaller one, for the quarantine tank. And use my lost air bubbler that I have uh, to attach it to this tank. Anyway, uh, my baby, baby fishes, baby guppies, my fries are doing really well. They're the ones that are born um, a few days ago, so they're smaller than the ones that are born about two weeks ago. But they're all doing well, and all the shrimps are doing good too, so. And now I'm going to fill this tank up with water and uh, use the sand to, you know, I'll cover it up and I'll uh, get to work now. This is the sand that I'll be using for the 29 gallons. It's a magitarium. Uh, quite a substrate 20 gallon 20 pounds I don't know if this is gonna be enough so I'm just gonna try this one first and if I need more I'm gonna buy one more bag so uh, I'm gonna just gonna rinse this real quick and I'll put it in the tank right away let's get to it okay now I'm going to pour the sand in the tank I have a bucket full of washed sand and I realized that it's just too much sand for me to wash so I just decided to give up and uh, I'm just going to pour the rest in, which I'll show you guys. Before I start adding water in this tank, I decided to take out all the sponge filters, heaters, and the thermometer because there are sand that is not yet um, submerging under water. That means it's going to flow to the top, and in that process, it's going to get stuck. Um, <clears throat> I uh, the sponges and filters and the uh, air, air, air uh, fan thingy that'll make the water 
smell bad. So uh, I just wanted to make sure that that doesn't happen. So I decided to just take it out. And I'm just going to try to submerge all the sand that is above the water that's like floating around. Because I don't want it to like, you know, just float around when I, when I uh, pour the water in here. Right. Okay, so I have the pipe uh, pulled from the bathroom and I've secured the line so it doesn't like fall when, when I go to uh, turn the water on and water off. So I'm just gonna um, pour the water in and I make sure to have a bucket in your tank before you pour anything in because if not, that's gonna mess up all the sand that you settled. So I'm just gonna turn the water on. While fill, filling the water up, I'm gonna make sure to pour this in there. There we go. Can you see? I'm gonna use one of these to measure five milliliters. <laughs> 